2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. Luke Elvey back in the booth with my boy Rich Beam and Beamer. We're at the place which has the famed stadium hall. We're at TPC Scottsdale and, well, it's the loudest show in golf, isn't it? It's the greatest show on grass, there's no doubt. When players are at this course, the course kind of speaks for itself. It's pretty much right in front of you. There's a couple of tricky shots here and there, a couple of really tough holes. Number seven and eight back to back come to mind. A few stretches there is difficult, but the difficult thing about playing here is the distractions, the crowds, the enormity of them, the yelling, the screaming. It's endless. And in order to play this golf course effectively, you almost need to put in earplugs because you need to focus on what you're doing, but the distractions are out there every hole, all day. What's it like to step foot in the stadium hall? It's incredible. You feel like everybody is standing right on top of you, and the last thing you want to do is hear the booms. And so you really focus in on hitting the green to hear the cheers, and they're gonna cheer for you when you do something good, but they're gonna let you have it if you do something bad. It can be a very stressful place to play if you're not accustomed to that, but you could also have a lot of fun with it if you like to get on that road. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Now, yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. That's well held. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that one just missed the hole. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Par 3 fourth at TPC Scottsdale plays 183 yards. Fairly straightaway hole, but bunkers again, front, left, and short right, requires a pretty accurate and solid strike. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Johnny Mack, what's the news? I am down on the sixth hole. This is Billy Borschel's next shot. This shot from 120 yards. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. This putt will move them to three under par. Looking really good. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard and that will take him to three under. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? <laughs> Nicely done. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Down here on the sixth as Tony Finau gets ready for his next shot. And back to the course with the live action. Nothing like a bit of momentum here, Rich. This one's going for another birdie. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. 
chosen the pitching wedge here. And this one might need to get down a little. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Ooh, nice line. Oh, what a start. This is impressive. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by two strokes. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four. 432 off the back tees. Again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold play is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get after this hole, but a safe strategy lays back before them. Getting ready to play their third. Big par saver coming up for this fella. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well done. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by a stroke. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three measuring 215 yards from the back tees. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down here on the ninth, this is Billy Horschel. Three feet to go here to the hole. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will take him to five under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will move him to six under par. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale is a par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. There's plenty of room off the tee to the left, just so you can avoid that bunker on the right. There's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided, a short little pot bunker. But two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie. That's tidy. This putt is from 14 feet. Hey, nice looking line. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to seven under. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm down here on the 10th hole. Tony Finau's just getting ready to hit. Playing this shot from the sand. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our leader is up by four shots now. The 10th at TPC Scottsdale is a short par four, measuring just 428 yards from the tips. There's a huge bunker down the right side of this fairway, which suggests maybe less than driver is necessary off the tee. What you want to do is set up for a good angle of approach, though. There's a couple of pot bunkers to the short right of this green and a big one to the front left to be avoided. Well, well played. And this putt is from birdie three on the scorecard. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Ouch, that hurts.
And that should secure the par. Well done. Leading by four strokes after that one. The 11th is a par of four, playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? I'm down here on the 12th hole, and this is Justin Thomas getting ready to hit. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Should find the green here. Got to admire that talent. Just green after green in regulation. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. This one has eyes for the hole. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And that will take him to eight under. And now that finds him in first place. The 12th at TPC Scottsdale is a par three measuring 192 yards off the back tees. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left to be avoided. Although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed. He's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. That starts off on a good line. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Now four shots up after that hole. The 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you're clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Birdie here to really ignite your charge. And here we are with the third shot. Butting for Birdie. This one's looking good. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm down here on the 14th. This is Billy Horschel's next shot. Even for the day. Currently tied for third position. Ooh. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. The 14th is a strong par four, almost measuring 500 yards from the back tees. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag, although a four here never hurts. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. This would be a great par putt if you can make this. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Time to see what's happening over at the 15th. This is their fifth shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Welcome to this par five hole. What a gargantuan tee shot. Well, I don't know about you, Rich, but I love this 15th hole at TPC at Scottsdale. Everyone's already focused on getting into the stadium hole, but this one here, wow, what a shot you got in front of you. 
I'm laying up eight days a week and hitting wedge in there close for my third, Luke. No chance I'm taking on this second shot. Getting ready to play their third. Well, wonderfully played chip shot. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. And yet another putt drops, so now 10 under par heading down the stretch. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Welcome to the jungle, or as they call it here at TPC Scottsdale, the stadium hole par 316. It's just a short club, but you miss the green. The course of booze will win it. Let's head over to the 17th. OK, let's get back to the action. John, have you got a read on this one? I'd say it's about 29 feet from where I'm standing. Just about three feet away. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. This dramatic finish at TPC Scottsdale has no shortage of options at the 17th, Rich. If you've hit the driver but you miss the green, you got to miss it out to the right hand side to have any hope of getting it up and down for the birdie. However, you knock it on this green in one, you never know, you could make it two. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. And this is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. Looking great now. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Sitting at minus 11 for the day. The finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, make sure you get the right area on the green if you're to make your birdie. This one is chewing fibre. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. It's all come down to this. Putt for the title. Well, that's a great tournament to win. The race management Phoenix Open, Rich, and all on Super Bowl Sunday. All the fans this week have been out there supportive of the tournament. They've been out here in record numbers. And the champion, well, they finally get to enjoy the festivities as well. Great play in this week. Great win. And Rich, that seemed like a leisurely waltz to victory, didn't it? Didn't break a sweat on the way to victory lane. I gotta say, I love it. It was so easy and smooth. It was a work of art. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.